and all its related 90 degrees like so Uh, I, I I don't know where did my oh, light go from here. I oh, know it's still there. Yeah. I, I, I mean I I have to be honest. I got scared for like one moment <laughs> because I definitely remembered. Uh, I definitely remembered <laughs> this this light to be created by me. I'll probably scale this up. And hit comma on your keyboard and scale. And probably spread those just a touch, like so. And now let's our uh, healthy light. So, mesh plane, this one will be small. And we'll place it right on 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 top of uh see now control V, control V, control Z. As to scale, I'll control C origin to geometry. Mm, that's interesting because this guy doesn't want to well hey how doesn't matter. Just a little light. Oh, let's move it here and yeah, scale it and let's scale it some more. Move it here. Basically, the this light will give us some uh, interesting highlights. So now let's position our camera so we can see things. Okay, shall we? Origin to geometry. Why? Why is that everything is uh, now global? Uh, everything is like tied up to the center of the grid. I don't know. Well, anyhow, it looks nice. Open move those cars down just a touch. Yep, like so. Oh well, now let's uh, position our camera. Hit Shift A camera. I'll control Alt Zero to well, make the camera from you. Okay, hit G, middle uh, middle mouse button, and left click to confirm to zoom in and zoom out. Once again, G, middle mouse button, zoom out just a touch, and position the camera once again. So now we will just assign our materials to uh, our plane and our light. This one will be made probably to uh, default white. This one will be no because uh, just the light and will uh, turn on uh, maximum emission. Oh, uh, th this guy is uh, side lights. This one is no and back key light. And this guy is no and and our uh, roof light and these guys are our front lights. No extra emission front. Actually, one thing I want to do: I want to go to edit mode. P to detach selection and I want to assign 
but, but, but basically I, wa I wanted to separate those guys so we can trick them in uh, in oh, Lux Red later. This one will be right and this one will be left. Okay. So we're all set. Now let's uh, assign uh, our, our materials for the umbrellas. Uh, so actually we merged those, right? So we'll have to go to edit mode once again and we'll have to detach them which will be kind of tricky probably see like so B to select those as well and B to select those and I don't know that's it I honestly do not know. Probably the inside would be as well. Oh, let's actually try to move those. E nope. Actually, uh, we can go the easy way. I can select those guys. and hit H and we can select those guys actually like this hit H and those guys hit H and those guys and hit H I honestly have no idea how we're going to extract these guys here. But let's hit H. Yeah, I shouldn't have merged those objects because now it's kind of pain to like uh, uh, to like try and and. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, and this guys. And this guys. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Why did they manage those? Let's hit P and select those guys. Let's hit Z, B, B. Okay. Now, you can probably detach those, no problem. So hit P selection and Alt H. Let's try to move those. Yeah, it seems like we have a solid pin. Thank God that was that was ridiculous. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, let's assign a velvet material to the umbrella. Choose uh, C velvet and let's maybe crack up the thickness to 0 0.5. Yeah, like so. And let's change the diffuse color to probably something. Nice and orange. Like uh, it's actually more pink than orange, but as much enough. And this one will be a metal, metal uh, aluminum. Ah, uh, like so. Now we will probably have to do the same thing with this guy over here. So let's hit Alt right click, Shift Alt right click, Alt uh, Shift, Alt Shift right click. Actually, for some reason it's not working. 
Hey, let's hit H on this guy. Uh, I'll try to play.